Air stands for financial independence, retire early. It's all the rage. Young people are in a quest to keep spending at a minimum. They have enough money to retire in their early 30s. They move to countries or states. The cost of living is low. They go off the grid. They cut themselves off from the internet and TV, all these extra bills. They live in the hills, remote places. They're living off the, you know, these tiny homes. But you know what? It, it seems like they're happy. I don't know if it's just the videos, but they seem happy. They live in the strictest sense of the word. They live a Spartan life. And it's refreshing to see these people do it. And to be honest, in some ways I envy them. To have the freedom from technology, to be one with, one with nature, to have the freedom from credit cards and banks and the IRS. But listen, this life is not for everyone. People like me, I, you know, we have families, you know, we have employees, I have kids, and we want to have them have the best education that we can afford and immerse them in different cultures and opportunities. So we're not gonna live off the grid. But these fire movers are living and there's certain things they're doing differently. One, they don't rely on cash savings. That's a surefire way of losing money. You may be able to save a million bucks, but after five years, that million dollars will probably be worth about 500,000 because of inflation. Personally, I think inflation is worth a 10%. So you have to invest and you have to make the money work for you and you have to earn more money. It's the only way to effectively diverse your investments. And I'm doing it right now. Invest in stocks and businesses, bonds, ETFs, real estate, gold, silver, a lot of silver. I love silver and crypto. Some stocks have dividends. Uh, in some businesses I have, you know, I'm, I'm involved with heavily some of them. I'm a silent partner. But ultimately I get the money out there. And I'll put as much weight on security and hedge investments. And, that, and I also look at returns. Dr. Guy Baker, founder of Wealth Teams Alliance in Irvine, said, it shouldn't be surprising. Almost a decade ago, a research came out from Wharton showing that controlling spending and delaying retirement had a greater impact on attaining a comfortable retirement than any particular asset allocation you select. In fact, the paper suggested you needn't worry about optimizing investment returns for two reasons. First, there's little practical difference between the optimal return and the average return. Second, if that difference in return is important to you, you can make it up for difference by simply just working longer. And I know that working longer seems counterintuitive to this fire movement, but think about it. If you don't need to work a full-time job, you can work on projects or get a part-time job, just enough to pay your bills while your investments grow. This also puts a spotlight on assets that are meant to protect the value of your money. Like you. If you're going to leave your investments alone and let it grow while you live your life, you become vulnerable to economic crashes and disruptions. If you have a hedge or something that stores value and wealth, your future and your money get secured and you can keep your buying power. That's really the key. If you're interested in investing in precious metals and you want to talk to a no hassle representative that has experience in physical metal, give us a call. Phone number is 877-646-5347. Our phone lines are always open and we're happy to answer any of your questions.